Hi everyone, this is Jessica Marie M. Lardizo from BS Electronics 3A and this is performance number 5. And this video is all about GMSK or Gushan Minimum Shift Key. So without further ado, let's start. So what do we need to know in this video? First, what is GMSK? GMSK Basics, Generating GMSK Modulation, Advantages of GMSK, and also the summary. So first, what is GMSK? And okay, Gaussian Minimum Shift Keying or GMSK is a form of modulation based on frequency shift keying that has no phase discontinuities and provides efficient use of spectrum as well as enabling high efficiency radio power amplifiers. So yeah, to give its full title, Gaussian Filtered Minimum Shift Keying or GMSK is a form of frequency modulation that is used in radio communication system. So, as you can see in the picture, is it? Okay. So, the GMSK basics. So, GMSK basic modulation is based on MSK, which itself a form of continuous phase frequency shift keying CPFSK. One of the problems with the standard form of PSK is that the stand sidebands extend out from the carrier. To overcome this, MSK and its derivative GMSK can be used. Well, MSK and also GMSK modulation are what is known as continuous phase scheme. Here, there are no phase discontinuities because the frequency changes occur at the carrier zero cover crossing points. So, this arises as a result of the unique factor of MSK that the frequency difference between the logical 1 and logical 0 state is always equal to the half of the data rate. This can be expressed in terms of the modulation index and it is always equal to 0 0.5. Um, as you can see in the, in the graph here, a plot of spectrum of an MSK signal shows sidebands extending well beyond a bandwidth equal to the data rate. This can be reduced by passing the modulation signal through a low-pass filter prior to applying it into the carrier. The requirements for the filter are that it should have a sharp cutoff, narrow bandwidth, and its impulse response should show no overshoot. The ideal filter is known as Gaussian filter which has a Gaussian shape response to an impulse and no ringing in its way the basic MSK signal is converted to GMSK modulation. And one of the advantages of MSK modulation in general, and in these specific cases, GMSK is that the MSK modulation makes the phase change linear and limited to positive negative pi over 2 over a bit interval of t. This enables MSK to provide a significant improvement over QPSK. Because of the effect of the power linear phase change, the power spectral density has low side lobes and help to control adjacent channel interference. However, however, the main lobe becomes wider than the quadrature shift key. Okay, now since generating GMSK modulation here, there are two main ways in which GMSK modulation can be generated. So first, the most obvious way is to filter the modulating signal using a Gaussian filter and then apply it to a frequency modulator where the modulation index is set to 0.5. Like in what I said before, this method is very simple and straightforward but it has the drawback that the modulation index must exactly equal to 0.5. In practice, this analog method is not suitable because components tolerance drift and cannot be set exactly. Now, this is the first way in the picture. From data input, it will pass to Gaussian low pass filter, then go to the voltage controlled oscillator which the modulation index is equal to 0.5, then to RF amplifier. Okay. To filter the modulating signal using a Gaussian filter and then apply to its frequency modulation where the modulation index is set to 0.5. Next, second one is the method is more widely used. Here, what is known as quadrature modulator is used. The term quadrat quadrature means the phase of a signal is in quadrature or 90 degrees to the other one. The quadrature modulation uses one signal that is said to be in phase and another that is quadrature to this. 
In viewing this in phase, the quadrature elements, this type of modulation is often said to be an I cube modulator. Using this type of modul modulator, the modulation index can be maintained at exactly 0.5 without the need of any settings or adjustment adjustments. This makes it much easier to use and capable of providing the required level of per performance without the need of adjustments for demodulation, the technique can be used in reverse. So here is the picture of the second way. Here we can see the data input goes to Gaussian low pass filter, then the 90 degree phase shift, the local oscillator, 90 degree phase shift, then the summation. So the advantage of modulation. So here are the advantage of modulation. It's improved the spectral efficiency when compared to the other phase shift aid methods or modes. It can be applied by a nonlinear amplifier and remain undistorted. This because there are no elements of the signal that are carried as amplitude variation. And the last one, none of the information is carried as amplitude of variations. This means that the immune to amplitude variations and therefore more resilient to noise than some of the other forms of modulation because most most of the noise is mainly amplitude based. And now, lastly, in the summary, so in summary, GMSK or Gaussian minimum shift K proved to be a particular successful form of modulation for GSM and some other radio communication system. Its combination of spectral efficiency and capability to enable efficient power amplifier operation enable it to be excellent choice for radio communication system of the type. So GMSK is probably the most wide associated with the 2G GSM mobile communication system where it proved to be effective form of modulation. It was one of the reasons why GSM cell phones had a long battery life in view of high efficiency, efficiency that could be obtained from the RF power amplifiers. And Thank you. That's all for this video. This is Chaska Marie M. Martinson from BS Electronics Engineering 3A, performance number 5, title GS, GMSK, or Gaussian Minimum Shift K. That's all. Thank you.